Hello. Hey, Judy. It's Carol. Carol. Yeah, I, I live, uh, you know, just nearby. I'm your neighbor, and um, we've been getting some of your mail. You have? Yeah, yeah, a bunch of mail here, like so much mail. Um, I know Jeff had to take our mailbox down. So okay. where where do you live? Why did he take it down? Because we had uh, Pat. No, he didn't take it down, but we had a um, the cement trucks came through there, and they oh. had to get through. Yeah, we yeah. had to, like, move ours down, like, two feet, because the new mailman, you know, he's a midget. So you, you're, see, we figured they were just holding it at the post office, so you're getting it? So we're, Okay, so Carol, yeah. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not placing where you live. Where? Oh, I'm just, you know, down the street and around the corner, like, right well, what, around what, from t court. What is your address? Um, well, no, I, like, I'm just calling to do the ceremonial ripping up of the mail over the phone. Like all, Why I got ripping up my mail. Cause I, I like I don't know. I'm tired of getting it. So I'm, I'm, well, I didn't know they were delivering it to you. I thought the rip. mailman was holding it. So why? I mean, well, how would I know that rip. it's coming to your house? Yeah, I know it's no big deal. I don't mind. I just I just gotta rip this. Hey, up. excuse me. Uh, this is her daughter, who's an attorney. That is a felon. Felony. Rip up her mail. You can place it in a bag, and you can deliver it back to the mailbox. Oh, Thank hold you. on, I can't hear you over the ripping. <laughs> In the food processor. And my daughter, who's an attorney, you cannot rip up my mail. But I don't. Like, I'm sorry that it came to your house. No, it's, it's no big deal. You don't have to apologize. It's it's fine. Well, don't call me and tell me you're going to rip up my mail. What? Well, I mean, the polite thing to do would be say, Judy, my, I'm getting some of your mail. Would you like to come and get it? No, I was being polite. I, I called and I'm just letting. Just no, letting. you said you were going to rip up my mail, Chief. Carol, I don't know where you yeah. came from, but uh, I can report you to Ken. Oh, no, no. What is, your, what is your, what is Carol? What is your, I have your ID, so no. what is your address don't, here? Don't report me to Ken. I've uh, got no, two strikes. No, trust me, I am reporting you. What is your address? Hold on, I gotta, I'm typing something in the microwave. Uh, yes, I will, uh, um, this is her daughter again. Hey. Hi. Oh, hold on. I got a little heated. It's, um, it's we, hard to We hit. understand that you're upset. No, I'm not upset. I, I'm not, I, I don't know why you guys think I'm upset. I'm just ripping up the mail. That's all. Why would, why would you rip it up? Because it's not mine, and I shouldn't have it, and I, I don't want to read it or anything by accident. You, and, I know. Can you, if it's, um, can you just place it in a bag, and then we can come get it? I mean, we did not mean for your mail to come to, or her mail to come to your house. In fact, yeah. My mail is being forwarded here because my mailbox is being stolen out of in Indianapolis. So this isn't our fault at the post office. We just, can you put it in a bag and well, we can try to solve this issue I, without having to be ripped up. I can put all the ripped up pieces in a bag. And, and so okay, and put up all the ripped pieces in a bag, but don't rip up any other pieces of mail. That is actually tampering with mail, even if it's delivered wrongly to you. What? It is a felony. I'm not, so I'm not I know, I know. We're not trying. We're not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just asking if you can place, if you can just place the pieces. If, if other pieces are coming, Sorry. just place it in a bag, and we'll take care of it. Just okay. Please don't rip up any other pieces of mail. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the mailman's problem is. Like he, he like he was sending my mail over to um, Linda's house. Like, I don't know who three. any of these people are. Are you at? Yeah, yeah, three blocks away. And hold on, I gotta rip this one. This one's a big one. Are you on drive then? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. How do you know? Well, because the GPS usually takes everything to drive. Oh. So, so maybe you were thinking that the lot numbers are not correct, but it's yeah, you you can't. You, you can't rip up mail. Sorry. Oh no, I can. It's it's like it's not even that thick. It's rip, it's ripping just fine. It's not that thick to rip up mail. It's a felony. Even if it's wrongly delivered to you, ripping up mail is a felony. No, I, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Hey, hello. Hello. Yeah, my name's Jeff. Hey, and Jeff. I'm out working in my yard. Hey. So, yeah. It's Carol. Hi, Carol. I'm, I'm your neighbor. I'm, I'm ripping up your mail right now. Why would you do that? Because, I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm just trying to, like, I, like if I put it all in, in there, uh, you know, full size, it'll, it won't fit in the recycle bin. So where do you live? 
Uh, just down the street, around the corner, Th Thomas Paine. Well, let me come get it. Oh, it's, it's too late. It's almost. I've almost ripped it all up. Well, that's too bad. Is that lady really an attorney? Because she didn't sound like it. She sounded like yeah, she might she be is. full of crap. Yeah, she sounds like what? Just, she sounded like she might be full of crap, but I wasn't sure. No, no, you shouldn't have torn up. That's too bad. Well, it's too late. She's torn it up. Yeah, well, no, I've, I've yeah. still got some of it left. I'm, I'm finishing tearing it up right now. I don't know why you would. Why didn't you call to begin with? Well, hold on. i I got to put some dishes in the sink. Wait, one second. Are, is it that you don't like me? Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that. I think you guys are great neighbors. It's, it's n nothing Well, I like don't know where you live. What, what are they yammering on about in the background there? Well, I wish you hadn't done that because I, we, don't, we, we have important documents. What, what kind of documents were they? I, I couldn't tell. Some of them looked important, and then there were some handwritten letters, like envelopes. Yeah. Why would you tear them up? Yeah, you're gonna get reported. No, look, okay. look I, I have to. I have to tell you about something. Okay, can can I let okay, you know something? I, yeah. Okay, are you ready? You ready to hear it? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here it goes. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, Lamo! You just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on 100.9 The Gerbil. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> Slamming is what we do best. <laughs> to hear your call and to hear yourself get totally slammed. Tune in every weekday morning at 8.30 and 10.30 to hear the daily butt slam. After this pre-recorded message, you'll be transferred to one of our jockeys who will get your permission to air your slam. If we don't get your permission, we'll air it anyway. Because we're totally wacky. Tune in every weekday. Uh, hello? This is not Carol. Now I'm a producer. For the Skippy and Dippy show. Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, she wasn't really ripping up your mail. I'm not yeah. Carol. Okay. I, it was just a joke. It, it's just joking with you, just joshing. Okay. You, so, so where are you located? Uh, we're here, uh, FM 107.3. 107.3. Home of the gerbil. The gerbil. And, and what, what city is that out of? Oh, Hello? you know, it's uh, here in the big city. We're we're not some little AM outfit or anything. We're we're like a real station FM, FM only, baby. Yeah, right. Yep, okay. yep, yep. And you're the producer. Yeah, I'm the producer, and uh, the one of, that was one of the hosts. That was Carol. She she's one okay. of the morning show hosts, wacky morning okay. show. The host. wacky. Yeah. W what's the what's the call letters? W what? Uh, w K F. Fuck, uh, F-U-C-K-F-U. No, it wouldn't be that. I know that. It wouldn't be those call letters. Why not? Because that, be, that wouldn't be appropriate. Yeah, well, whatever. So where do you live? Uh, well, that'd be weird. I can't tell you where I live. I'm a radio personality, producer person. I don't, I don't believe that. Why don't you believe that? Because there's no such radio station. Well, maybe I'm just not telling you which one it is, because I don't want you to listen, and then you'll get mad at us and yell at the station manager like everyone else. Look, I, I'm, I'm just, I, I was just being nice and letting you know I didn't really rip up your mail. That's all. No big deal. You're welcome. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. What happened? We got muted somehow. Oh, we. Where did we get the mail from? Did you face dial the mute button? No. Where where did we get our mute our mail from? Our mail. No, we don't have your mail. That part was a joke. We were joshing. No, you weren't. What What do you mean? No, I wasn't. I I was that that was. I mean, she wasn't. That was Carol. I'm not Carol. So how did you get our number from then? Uh, we like you know it was submitted by a listener. And so what city are you out of? We we don't really have your mail though. Like that was just a joke. That look, it's a ripping sound effect. Olga sent it to me. See? It, it sounds the same every time. It's just fake ripping. It's on our soundboard machine. It's a joke. Just joking. Well. He just, Here's just, the funny, weird thing. Uh-oh. 
is is that my parents' mailbox is down, so they're not receiving mail. So it's really a, a very a, a a weird person to call, a very ironic person to call. What a coinky dink! Because they're literally not receiving mail. So I uh, see. I can't have your mail then. Durr. So what is your station called? Uh, it's WBGZ, Alton, Illinois. Home of, from Illinois? Home of the What's Your Bid Show. Yep. Okay, thank you. I love you. All right, that was weird. Man, after that, I, I need some, I need a drink. Let me get go over to the fridge, get, get some ice. Pour some stuff in here. And yeah, that's totally what I'm doing. You know, 